cute costumes on a nice day for it. Daniel, what's going on? Yeah, you gotta love any kind of videos with dogs yeah, in it. Uh, perfect. Sure. Perfect uh, afternoon and day to walk the dogs or go parading with them. And we're looking at some changes, though, uh, for the start of the week. And you may notice those changes behind me as we have some clouds that have continued to fill in. And that will be the story tonight, along with some breezy winds. Temperatures are holding steady into the 60s through midnight. Notice that isolated shower chance. Yeah, we're going to start to see that rainfall returning. As we go overnight, you see some of that green spreading out across the area, so some scattered showers. As we go through the day, it's not going to rain all day, but those spotty showers will be with us throughout much of the afternoon and evening. See where temperatures are low to mid 70s as we go into the afternoon, and then we get some breaks and going into Tuesday, we'll see a cold front that's going to be moving in, and that may bring some heavier rainfall around as we look at the wider view. We'll see the potential for some heavier rain going into uh, overnight Tuesday into Wednesday morning. And then you see the yellows showing up there Wednesday afternoon and early evening. That's where we could have the heavier rain, some thunderstorms, and even the possibility for a strong to severe storm. So something we'll have to continue to monitor as we go uh, into the middle parts of the week. You see some rainfall around early Thursday, and then we start to sweep that out as we head into the rest of the week, and we'll work some sunshine in as well. So for Tuesday night into Wednesday morning, there is that risk for some severe weather clips parts of the North Shore during this time period, mainly though across southwest Mississippi and over toward Texas. But then as we get into the day on Wednesday, that cold front arrives and down toward the New Orleans metro area, the North Shore and southwest Mississippi could see a few strong to severe storms, mainly in the form of some wind gusts 60 miles per hour or some small hail. As far as rainfall is concerned, could be heavy at times on Tuesday, but the brunt of the rainfall looks to arrive on Wednesday as you start to see the reds popping up across much of the deep south and parts of the North Shore could get in on some of that heavier rain, lighter totals as you head down toward the coast. So just keep that in mind. Tuesday into Wednesday is going to be the time period we need to watch for the potential for some rough weather. Meanwhile, the winds are the factor tonight and going into Monday as it'll continue to see a breeze coming in out of the Gulf of Mexico. 10 miles per hour as you're walking out the door in the morning, 15 to gust up to 20 miles per hour once again going into Monday afternoon. And then the winds start to calm down a bit as we go into Tuesday morning. High temperature today was 71, so it was a warm one, but nowhere near the record of 84 degrees as many other locations reach the low 70s today. So overnight, isolated shower going to be possible. Temperatures are much warmer than what we've had the past few mornings in the upper 50s to low 60s. A cloudy and breezy day tomorrow with a chance for more spotty showers. The rain chances really start to increase Tuesday overnight into Wednesday, but we do have some sunshine that returns by the end of the week.